people. I am back. 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 Holy crap. I feel much better. I am like, I'm like 90. Uh, Y'all, I'm like 90%. I'm not 100. I'm like 90. I'm not keeping it 100 yet. I'm still kind of sick. Am I still hearing my voice? You know, i still flemmy. That's gross. That's gross. I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're gonna try and do this again, people. We're gonna try and do this again because, uh, like I said, if you saw the video where I said I was sick, I mean, I tried to record this video three freaking times. One, I, I was sick and it was just terrible and I kept losing. And then the other one, I threw up and it, it was just bad. And then, wow, flam, throw up. I'm just gross. I'm gross as a video, honestly. Just shut up. Shut up. I'm grossing out all my viewers. Hello? <laughs> so we're gonna try to do this again. And uh, hopefully we actually get a decent duel win, or at least be able to pull something off. Cause, man, God, don't I? I just, I swear to God, I hate when I just don't get to do shit. That shit pisses me off, and and that video was pissing me the fuck off. Like, I was just getting my ass beat, getting my ass beat. Getting, I mean, I get it. Your Bowser Tree's not the strongest deck on Diamond Y. I understand that, but it it was like it wasn't even close. Like it was literally like twenty minutes of just ass beat city, like. I should have turned YouTube tech mode. Could have got an additional thousand damage and I could take the damage right now. Alright, I'm attacking with Armageddon Knight. You wanna play this deep prison of mirror force or forever hold your peace? So thought. Bitch, it's probably MST. <laughs> no? Okay. I have to put my mouse right over it. <laughs> Just click two graves. <laughs> that end phase of MST is so strong, so powerful. I better not be MST, I'm gonna be mad as fuck. I'm not gonna be mad as fuck, I'm just gonna be like, you dumbass. <laughs> I'm gonna chain it. It wasn't active last turn, but now it's it's ready. Go. Okay. Pitch gun, summon TS. That is fine. So we're going against Marmal. Yep. Get you maybe a Lind or maybe a Pike. So his hand must be some straight booty if he wants to go ahead and pitch a gun with no targets. Like, all right. It's still gonna be a good duel though. Marmels are generally a pretty decent duel. Yeah, you can get her. I don't know who the fuck that bitch is, but you can get her. I know that's not the end of your play. I know that's not the end of your play. There's the best fear. Alright. Yep. He's gonna tack it up first. That's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Who's attacking? Attack for a thousand and attack my monster? No. Okay. Uh. Oh, hello. Where? Where's my math? Where's my math? <laughs> Man, just fuck math right now. It's actually kind of funny. Uh, I got I got bored. To an extent, I got bored, so I decided to go ahead and just take a nap. It was at like 6 o'clock. I didn't wake up until like 11, <laughs> so it's like 12 o'clock in the morning now, and I'm just like, fuck it, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and record. I'm bored. To an extent. I have, you know, just watch some anime, watching Toriko. You know Toriko, right? It's related to One Piece. Oh, man, I love when my opponent fucking exceeds during the fucking, uh, Battle phase, there you go. Draco sack. Rub your nipples, Draco sack. That's funny. Okay, well that's after my opponent's next end phase, but I'll let that go. I'll let that slide, but you're clearly in the wrong on that one. Alright, so all I got to do is deal with a Draco sack, which is totally easy to do with. I swear to God, Draco Sack has definitely fallen off. I 
Fifth guard, special summon. I can always get another one of him. Almost in fact. Go ahead and kill the two tokens, make a one on one, and take you. I said. I totally don't want to put him in the grave because I can always just ride him with the oasis and he'll be 3,000. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the tokens. Then make a one on one, take you. Because I don't want to even leave you the tokens. I quack it. I could, I could just immediately see him, but. I want to take you and then kill one of the tokens, but hey, I can wait till main phase two to go ahead and uh, one on you. What's up with this guy, man? It takes forever to fucking respond. You must have a slow ass computer. Everybody can have the luxury. Nice effect. I mean, yeah, air effect. Air effect. Start right there. This card is sent to Garrett because of a card effect. Armageddon Knight. She was sent. She was sent to the graveyard by the card effect of Armageddon Knight. I get the effect. No, no, I. I got that effect last turn when you attack. Once per turn, as in your turn and my turn. Once per turn. <laughs> then go into one on one. Alright. It's been a cool minute to see one on one. There we go. I was like, where is it? Like, I don't have the monster yet, so. <laughs> The game's like, um, you can't overlay on something that's not there. I was like, where is the option? I want to overlay. <sighs> Powerful 101. Nice Castell reprint. Man, I got a lot of things to talk about and shit. I got a lot to do. Ton of cards. Of course, ton of cards come out and get revealed. And ton of shit that needs to be discussed while I'm on break. Like, oh, really? Really? Whew. I, I swear to God, I tried, people. I tried to pop through that sickness, but I was just like, Bleh. <laughs> it took me, and then, I, man, I was like quarantined. It wasn't that bad. You know, I did wear one of them masks to not spread infection to college. Still have to go to college, you know. Yeah, I got a ton of shit to talk about with you people. Holy shit. Mm hmm. Just kind of one more accident level. Yeah. Okay. Man, he was playing some run up cards, and I'm just like, yo. Okay, I guess. Man, he's doing some weird ass plays. I'm sitting here just wondering what he's doing. Oh, okay. Okay, so they all go up by two. So these are five XC into Locosaurus. Weird memory all place. Calvary, you suck. <laughs> yep, that's right. Look. The question is, do I want to take 16? I'll probably go ahead and block with uh, Emperor. Yeah. Powerful ass Emperor. I might cut you down to one, because it's sort of guy like it. You, you take some special kind of setup to actually get use out of you. Most of the time you just sit in my hand. At least you're a 19 beater, but you have not been doing much lately. <laughs> I really don't want to take the 16 right now. It's 
say you can turn the Gaia Charger. Like, that's interesting. If you ever told me Mermel's making Volk, I would have been like, how? How? That's how. Alright? That's how, motherfucking how. Because these. This is the motherfucker who fucks with the motherfucker's motherfucker. Oh my god, this video is just inappropriate. Uh, good old Daniel being in a fucking appropriate. Uh, perfect. Managed to destroy that. Then I'll go ahead and summon Calvary. Calvary run over the Abyss Pike and Emperor run over the Volca Source. Alright. Get that squall out of here. You don't need that shit. You don't need that bubbly water shit. See, that's how I like that you don't have to summon Emperor properly. Now I just got a straight up 3,000 beater on the field. And Mermels, they need resources, so he, he needs some particular cards to keep up in this duel. And the funny thing is that I could totally just Black Rose now since I have the Mask Chameleon. <laughs> I just pull the trigger. Oh, never mind. Here's Regeki. Cabo effect. Thanks for destroying a monster by card effect, by the card effect of Regeki. Yep. I cannot attack this turn, that's fine. It's your turn, so. <laughs> so, unless you can activate, like, Battle Mania. <laughs> That'd be interesting. You just be like, Battle Mania! <laughs> like, you have to attack me, I can't! <laughs> uh, what's wrong with me? It's clinically insane. I don't think that's true. Go ahead and go Emperor Effect again, once again. Go ahead and banish the Calvary. I don't need him anymore. Blow that up, blow your limb up. It's not banished. Not banished. Yeah, it's not banished. Go ahead and get your effect. I really don't care. Oh, you have something juicy to pitch. No, you have some her. This card sent to go you out. You can spare some more of my hand. I don't blah, 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 blah. It's just pen a bitch just says since the grave our period. Alright, uh guess I'll go ahead and activate Rota. Switch my last army good at night. Kill her, then he'll summon one from his hand. In case he tries to be cute and summon out like oh. That was an accident. It's totally misclick. Uh tries to summon something cute, I'm gonna be like, no thank you, sir. Ah, I'm uh, pretty much out of targets. I so go ahead and just send out some nightmare. So I'll draw that shit. I can't even get. Uh, I have all my heiresses, or I used all my heiresses. So this bitch just says, "Send to the graveyard." Period. This card sent to the graveyard. Especially someone one, a monster from his hand. Like, okay. So I'm again night will kill that bitch. You'll summon any mermel from your hand. I don't give a shit. I'm three thousand, so I'm just gonna punch you in the face. So it's not that difficult. This is probably one of the easiest Mermel duels. Wow, he just quits. Like, alright. Alright. Uh, it's 14 minutes. Uh, we have time for one more. I guess I should make it up for the announcement, so we'll make this video a little bit longer than usual. If it was 15 minutes, I'd cut it. But 14? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like f 15. <laughs> If, uh, you know, if we, that duel would last a couple more turns, I would have killed his monster, you would have summoned the Mermel, I would have tested it, and passed it back to him, we would continue, you know, passing the ball a little bit more in the duel, then sure, but no. Alright, and some you. You go ahead and summon me, Eris. Go ahead and overlay into Fortune Tune. Where are you, Fortune Tune? There you there are you. My grammar is fucking delicious right now. There you are. Thank you.
So let's see how long Fortune Tune will last. So the reason why I get my uh, effect off of Eris, off of Fortune Tune, is because I detach but don't uh, start a chain or trigger any effects. So that's why you get the effect of Eris when you detach out of Fortune Tune. You know, if I went to like Levier and I detached and, you know, some of the Levier, I'd, I think I'd miss timing. I think that's the reason why you don't get it. Ooh, alright, well, this duel's gonna suck, but... <laughs> this duel is going to suck some royal butt. Midotes have always been a very difficult and very good deck. Very difficult opponent. Especially for a slow paced deck like me right now, like this hand, I didn't open up well enough to be defeating Midotes. And of course with Tiramisu's non-targeting the ass, I'm gonna get it. Uh, go ahead and get Emperor. Turn, stand by phase, I'm doing my 500. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and summon the Emperor, banish, and pop that card and then tack over her. That's like a fine plan. I have to apply the pressure. Oh, but if I do this, then uh, Fortune 2 won't get her effect. It's okay. It's okay. Is Fortune 2 a girl? I'm not sure. But I won't get Fortune 2 effect anymore, because I won't have two level 3s. Even though it's a mandatory effect. Yeah. Fortune 2 won't even go back to the extra deck, because it's like, and if you do, return this card to the extra deck. But that won't be happening, because I won't be going back. Huh, okay. I guess. The reason why I did that is because I have Oasis, but depending on how well he opened, because I know he has Cat. I know he has Cat. So he can simply just go Cat and Jelly. I'm fucked. So, yeah. He has to have in Jelly. Uh, my monster isn't. Monster is only 1500. No, it's like 100. There you go. Alright, and then imagine I hits the grave, then goes back to the deck. She does hit the grave. Name piece two, go ahead and set the oasis on my turn, and you're dead. So let's see how fucked I am. This cat and jelly I'm like fuck. Here we go. Here we fucking go. I mean I'm giving you the most optimal play in my mind. I mean you're running cards like T break, so can't guarantee that you're the best of doing this, but see back is interesting with a trap card, it's just you kinda neg with it. Like when the spell or trap card is activated while you control a monster grave, right? You negate that shit if you do return it to the hand. You know? So you kinda neg. Like it's interesting if you activate it on a trap card because then I have to reset it and then reactivate it, but you're still gonna get the trap card. You didn't resolve the problem. But a spell card, that's just stupid. If I go like dark hole and you go Tea break, negate, return it back to your hand. Dark hole. <laughs> no, he didn't have to play. Alright. So I'm guessing you're gonna go ahead and get Chateau or are you gonna get Ticket? Chateau, alright. Wow, and you're not gonna frickin' activate your Chateau to allow your Mew Fleet to run over my Fortune Tune. Okie dokie, that is fine. I no tell you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, might as well activate it now. I said, he's not doing the most optimal play then, therefore I should push. Another Emperor, alright. 
who do I want gone? I definitely want Messing Gelato gone. Because if he top decks into it, if he has another level 4 Madoche, he can simply just overlay it. And then he has Madoche card, so he can turn the suit. So definitely, definitely, I want to kill. Uh, get my 500. That's mandatory. <sighs> definitely, definitely want to go ahead and kill the Messing Gelato. The cat right now is not really doing much. Because I don't know why he didn't activate his chateau. God, I am not getting the best of hands right now. Not at all, not at all. Kind of reluctant that I banish this. I could make a black rose with this mask million. Uh, really, I just need to get another Eris. Eris is like the center fold of this deck. Now it's 3,000. Ooh, wow. Did not think it was gonna be Mirror Force. Nah, I'm okay right now. I was thinking about maybe activating uh Dark Hole, but no. He's gonna go ahead and turn my suit, go ahead and turn my suit. Then I'll Dark Hole to turn my suit. Did not think it was Mirror Force. I wish I had another card to banish. Okay, I guess I gotta just banish my Emperor, but Wow. Actually, please put incest. Nigga. Okay, I guess. Who's the fact? Oh, you're activating uh, Chateau. Alright. Can I activate the effect? Well, it still goes off, it just doesn't resolve. You're 1823? Got another Oasis. Well, I can summon the Emperor, Emperor Banish, pop the the Chateau, definitely get pop and get rid of the Chateau. But then that's pretty much it, that's all I can do. <laughs> oh, then I could Dark Hole. Uh, dark Hole later, I'm okay with it right now. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just summon Emperor, Emperor Fact, Banish the other Emperor, pop the Chateau. And then just step my turn, and then set the Oasis. Yeah, that sounds like a fine plan. I'm I'm saving the falling down. And save the falling down. Did not open up alt optimal. Drone tear, mass killing can't really be used. Falling down I'm holding on to. Waiting. Get rid of that chateau. Really don't want you to have that. Which uh, you still have no monsters in the grave, so this is still 1800. This is still 1600. I'm only 1500. Oh, I must know. I'm weaker. Uh, weaker than both your monsters. <coughs> you're 18, you're 16, so. Yeah, you have no more dodge. I mean, no monsters in the grave. Ah, <coughs> uh, see? I'm still sick. I'm still sick. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go ahead and just set the oasis. In my turn. So if he's not going to do the most optimal plays. The only thing I'm worried about is him just summoning level 4. But I still have Dark Hole. So I'm still okay. But summoning a level 4 Medocha right now would be the most optimal play. Or you can summon her. Or you can do that. I'm probably going to take all of this. If I can. Be the most optimal to just take the attacks and then during the end phase summon. Because right now it's not. Month. We have another one card. We have to battle an opponent's monster. <laughs> 
See, and the reason why I made, waited for uh, main phase two, two, pretty much end phase, because he has two level four, so he could simply just go into main phase two and exceed. So, no thank you. Draw. Oh, Regeki. Uh, the only problem now is that I'm definitely low on life points. Uh, that's the problem right now. Definitely gonna go to attack position. I'm just wondering if I should activate falling down. I don't have the life points to really be activating that, though. Not really. Yeah, I think I'll just activate Regeki. And start pushing for damage. Maybe set the Master Man since I can't use anything with it. Can't be normal summon, but I can still set it and then flip it up later, so yeah. I'll go ahead and do that. Now since Chateau is gone, I don't have to worry about you plussing or anything along those lines. I can go back to the deck, I don't care. So my life points are definitely low now, so... Now going into Tiramisu? Yeah, now I'm in deep shit. Oh, okay. I'm really getting caught off guard right now. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of duelist that thinks of the most optimal plays, and when you don't do the most optimal play, it catches me off guard. You have your Amazonist woman, lady. You shit. Even bad Madoches is still better than my deck. So it's the sense I didn't open up that optimal. I guess in that situation, using Falling Down would have been better. Cause then he would just killed his own monster, Fritter. Instead of killing my emperor. Uh, but hindsight's twenty twenty, so I said I didn't want to use slowing down. And yeah, that's game. That's perfectly game. Universe, that helped? Not really. Nope. Overall, I just shouldn't have banished the Eris. The Eris. Banishing the Eris was my downfall. It really messed up my place. Oh well. So this guy is in Team Armageddon and he's Knight. <laughs> Armageddon Knight? That's cute. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and call this out. So, uh, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vlad and Wine. Much better, much better video. So, um, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Plague Licious Bell. Alright people, thanks for watching.